Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, we've already established how to log a user in depending on database values such as Alex or Billy both here. Now, when we do log in, let's go ahead and log me in. You'll see that we have your logged in, log out, that's absolutely fine. Now, the one thing that we're missing to you know round off our website once the user's logged in is we're not displaying specific information about the user that is logged in you already know that the user's id which is unique to each user is stored in a session here so at the moment this value here this session will be equal to one because i've logged in as alex so the id has been set to one now inside core.inc.php, which remember we set up to be included in every file, we want to create a function to be able to grab any field from our database um, here, depending on the ID. So this is going to shorten the amount of uh, code we do inside our our um, our actual uh, fi our files ourselves. So inside this core.inc.php, we're going to create a function which we can use however many times we want. And also it will save a lot of resources as well. So it won't slow down your server as much um, and won't perform as many uh, queries. So um, where do we start? We need to outline the skeleton, skeleton of our function. So I'm going to call this get field. Okay. So what arguments is this function going to take? So get field. The first important bit of information we need is the ID, the user's ID. The second we need is the field name. So I'm just going to call this field. OK, so we need the user ID, the supplied user ID, and we need the field. In fact, looking at this, we don't actually need the user ID because it's already stored, isn't it? OK, so we don't need the user ID. We just need the field name. This is going to grab the um, corresponding data from the field specified from this user's table. So the first thing we need to do is make um, is create a variable up here which is going to hold uh, the value. In fact, no, we don't need to do that. I'm just making it longer for myself. So I'm going to write global dollar underscore session user ID. Now the reason I've done this is, um, I have a tutorial on why you need to do this. Um, in fact, no, I don't think we even need to do that, do we? Okay, so <laughs> let's echo this out and we'll, we'll see if this works. So echo out um, basically the, session, the user's ID. So we'll come to index.php, uh, you're logged in. So let's um, create a line break there and down here we'll, um, let's run the function get field. Okay, so let's go back to our page and we'll see what we uh, come up with. Okay, yeah, so we echo one. Now, this get field, uh, we're aiming by the end of this tutorial to display the user's name. Okay, from um, in uh, after this logged in. So we're going to say you're logged in, Alex Garrett. But obviously, not everyone is called Alex Garrett. We, so we need to uh, use this get field um, function to uh, make this work well. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to perform a query. So, the query equals um, select. Now we need to specify the field. So that's field, and that's encased in apostrophes from users where, and this is the important part, ID equals, so let's just... Uh, by all these where ID is equal to dollar underscore session uh, and that is um, user ID let's just um, concatenate this on so it looks a bit tidier okay so select the field that we specify in here from users where the ID is equal to something okay so this is get I guess get um, user field we can call this because it's only selecting from the table users so get user field and we specify a field in here 
then what we need to do is we need to execute the query. So query run is equal to MySQL query query. And we need to encase this in an if statement to ensure that we only execute this block here if this query is successful. So if the, we're basically saying in plain English, if this query is successful, then what we need to do is we need to grab this data. So we're going to return, and what we're going to return is MySQL result, um, and the result is from the query run, um, the row uh, zero, because we remember we're only returning one row, um, because there's only ever going to be one ID, and the field we can pop again in here, so field. Let's just get rid of them uh, single quotation marks, so field.